Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Paul. Um, it's a nice day out, so I figured I'd do a little video. See what's going on here. Uh, this is my small loft. A little set on cage on that side. This butt neck wire in the front. What's up, bird? Bruce, he's got two, two ladies, they got eggs. Go in here. This loft, I have my satin nets. Um, there's two tipplers up there on the top. The two homers that I guess got. Um, that. Told it was a bronze kite on the right, the hen, and then a sooty red, like a dirty red. Have them in here. Um, he's been driving her, so we'll see if they have eggs. Then um, this pair, setting that's down here, they got an egg, but I don't think I'm gonna let them set it. Um, and over here. I fostered. What's up, guys? These guys are fat. Uh, I fostered these guys. Come here. Come here. Oh. Come here. Fostered these guys. They're uh, um, from two of my good racers inside. I put them in here because I split that pair up. So split the pair up. So I wanted to um, see how the satinette, the one satinette and that one tip up the top um, have been fostering them. That guy's relentless. So they've been fostering them. They're actually doing a pretty good job. A lot better than I thought. Uh, we'll go into the uh, into the barn here. Oh, actually, we'll stop here. Uh, this I just have a couple uh, satin nets in that I'm not keeping. So I actually have four or five available. What's up, buddy? That's a nice cock bird right there. And then I got eggs under there. But again, I'll probably switch them out with wooden eggs. Uh, these guys are just beautiful. So if anybody's interested in them, I have I think four or five. Out there is a macaroni hen from James Family Loft. That's my favorite hen right now. Which uh, one of the viewers, Tom, made a comment that she looked like she was a gem. So I actually think I'm gonna name her that. So uh, that's her. And then that guy there is her mate. Um, he's also a macaroni bird.
Here's your grizzle. I know. Let's see your babies. Stop. Stop hitting your baby. So there's two babies under there. Two eggs under here. Uh, gonna have to check them because I think they were laid like different time. Like not normal spacing. So up here. Got this tough guy. Yeah. This looks like uh, this second round for them. This is the uh, Black Eagle Cockbird and my, one of my blue bars from um, the Huben Blue Bars. Um, last time I got one black and one blue bar, and this time they're both blacks. Uh, what's up, Jim? Building some nests. There's two eggs under here. Nothing up there. A blue check chasing the red hen. Wow. They've had two rounds so far, which is this is one of them. Uh, looks like it's going to be a blue bar, and then they had one red, which is upstairs. So he's driving her again. So hopefully we'll get two eggs this time. But we'll see. And then that'll probably be their that'll be their last round. Upstairs here, um, this red is a cockbird from the uh, red hen and blue check pair downstairs. He's made it up with a uh, nice blue check hen. They have two eggs. Then over here, that's a Gannis cockbird from the Wolverine lines along with uh, um, the nest mate of that black downstairs. This is a black eagle hen I got from uh, James at Robertson Family Race. Or, I'm sorry. I got from Mike at Rocky Ridge. And just show you what I did yesterday. Uh, I picked up that cabinet used so I uh, had to get the drawers for the front of it in, but just made that. And then I had the slop sink that a buddy of mine gave me. So I'm going to run water line up to here when it gets warm enough to turn it on. So I have a nice work area. I can keep all my medicines and everything underneath there, keep them dust free. And then just put this little table here, put my grits underneath of it, food up there, trash can, my clock units over there I'm building a box for that um, new trapping system and the young bird section here molting body mold like a little bad here but there's 12 young birds in there
And I only got two old birds that are not flying. And they're in there. I tossed them a couple. I took them out on a couple tosses last week. So the weather's nice this week. I'll get them back out again. But uh, like I said, I'm going. I'm look. I'm considering, or I think what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build a new box for the clock to go or for the antenna to go in for the races, and then. Uh, Last year I had bob trap, but I think I'm just going with this drop trap. I just have it laid up there for now to to see how they would go through it and everything like that. But um, I'll do an update when I build that. So that's really about it. Um, I do have a couple birds coming this week. I think I'll have four birds coming this week. Two are gonna be racing birds. I think they're getting shipped Tuesday, so I should get them Wednesday. And then I have two other um, birds, a different breed that I haven't flown before. Uh, uh, I'm getting a pair from a guy up in the uh, New York area. And the plan is to put them in that, that outside um, little lo small loft with the tipplers and everything and breed up enough to fly. So um, I'll make a video of that. They're going out tomorrow. So I should have them Tuesday. So uh, when I get them, they'll go in a separate section and go through quarantine and then I'll start breeding them. But I'll update you guys when they get here. All right, have a great weekend.